Now, Ava DuVernay confirmed why Warner Brothers shelved her new gods. Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. Now, once upon a time, Ava DuVernay was going to direct New Gods. Warner Brothers announced on March 15th of 2018 that Ava DuVernay was to direct DC's The New Gods. Now, I have to remind you, this was before the Snyder Cut, before we even knew what was in the Snyder Cut. We didn't know Darkseid was in the Snyder Cut. I mean, it was rumored, but we didn't actually know the story of Zack Snyder's Justice League. All we knew was that Steppenwolf had an intro in the theatrical Justice League, and that's pretty much it. And at that time, we knew very little about New God. Only that Ava DuVernay wanted to concentrate on Big Barda, Mr. Miracle, possibly High Father, and other New God characters as well, including Darkseid. Then with relatively no movement, Ava DuVernay decided to get a co-writer. On May 29th of 2019, Ava DuVernay's New Gods adds comic book creator Tom King as co-writer, probably because he had a critically acclaimed Mr. Miracle comic book story. Then we started learning a little bit more about the Snyder Cut, aka Zack Snyder's Justice League, that there was supposed to be dark side in it, there was supposed to be granting goodness, the sod, pretty much new gods in that Zack Snyder's Justice League movie, at least some of them anyway. Then when it finally was announced that, that we are definitely going to get the Snyder Cut, Zack Snyder's Justice League, a lot of fans were wondering, is Ava DuVernay going to respect Zack Snyder's Justice League? Is she going to spin off from Zack Snyder's Justice League? For instance, is Ray Porter going to be her dark side? Which caused a lot of controversy amongst the fans, where people were wondering, should she continue off from Zack Snyder's Justice League, or should she do her own thing? Would it be like a spinoff, where they kind of utilize the same actors, but the design may be different. Kind of like James Wan's Aquaman's designs were different from Zack Snyder's Justice League Aquaman design. But there was also the route of Todd Phillips' Joker. Maybe they're going a different direction where they could have a separate New Gods movie that does not connect to anything at all. Which seemed like a perfect solution judging from what they did with Crisis on Infinite Earths. You had Ezra Miller's Flash and also Grant Gustin's Flash. You're almost telling us that the multiverse is okay. That they can have these multiple visions going on at the same time. Then when Zack Snyder's Justice League was finally released, everybody loved Darkseid, the new Steppenwolf, that little tease of granting goodness, and Dasad as well. It was insane. A lot of people were wondering, man, wouldn't it be crazy if New Gods kind of just spun off after this? Or at least maybe adapt some of that into her own movie? But then something happened. On April 1st of 2021, and I know it's April 1st, so a lot of people are wondering if it was April Fool's. I guess it was. Ava DuVernay's New Gods, James wants the Trench DC movies not moving forward at Warner Brothers. Now we already know that the Trench was actually a Black Manta movie, so that was kind of a bummer. But the New Gods was a big one, because that was in, you know, pre-production for a long time. They were still writing the script for three years. In reaction to the cancellation of New Gods, Ava DuVernay said this, Tom, I loved writing New Gods with you, DuVernay wrote on Twitter, along with a photo of herself with King. I'm upset that the saga of Barda, Scott, Granny, Highfather, and the Furies ends this way. Diving into Kirby's fourth world was the adventure of a lifetime. That can't be taken away. Thank you for your friendship, and remember, hashtag Darkseid is. The Hollywood Reporter sources even mentioned what may be the reason why they canceled New Gods. New Gods, which would have been sprawling tale, was complicated by the fact that its villain, Darkseid, just appeared as a major foil in Zack Snyder's Justice League. And there was a desire to have a space between the latter and any new appearances. Which to me, it just sounded like they're kind of just delaying it for now. Because there's no foreseeable future in that. They're just going to say, well, let's hold off on any more dark side appearances. Now, as you know, Warner Brothers does not want to continue Zack Snyder's vision for Justice League. Also meaning they didn't want to continue the vision of having Darkseid come to take over the world and all that cool stuff that we were going to get in Justice League 2 and 3. Well, Avery DuVernay confirmed it today. Why? They asked New Gods. Loved um, New Gods, which is the project that got uh, axed. Um, the studio decided that they did not want to pursue a certain part of that comic world based on some things that were going on with another film in that world. Okay. So before I even was able to kind of complete my script with Tom King, 
they axed it. But I had already had two projects going. Clearly, she's a little upset that she doesn't get to do New Gods. And that was something that she really, really wanted to do. Now, I think to appease Ava DuVernay, they gave her Naomi and DMZ instead, which may be a better story for her to take on at this moment, at least in my opinion. I just hope her words aren't going to rile up some negativity towards the Snyder Cut. I could almost see people saying, see, this is what happens with the Snyder Cut. It ruined Ava DuVernay's New Gods. Now, I don't think she's actually blaming the Snyder Cut. It's it's just so incredible how petty Warner Brothers is towards Zack Snyder. Instead of giving a new creator an opportunity to make a new gods with a new dark side, they decided to just shelve the whole thing completely. Does that make sense? I mean, what is this hoopla about the multiverse if you're not going to actually explore the multiverse? Now, I know in the comics there's really only one dark side, but this was their chance creatively if they ever wanted to kind of reset the new gods and get their own dark side. Not that I would have wanted and cared for an Ava DuVernay's new gods. I'm just calling out what seems to be very hypocritical of their multiverse idea. I mean, come on, how many Batmans are you going to have? How many Flashes are you going to have? How many Supermans are you going to have? And you can't have more than one dark side? I mean, their original plan for multiverse was that so other creators could make anything they want without having to confine themselves to a certain vision. So this would have been the best way to get to their own dark side by letting Ava DuVernay do her new god. There's even people saying that the reason why they shelved New Gods was that Zack Snyder did an incredible dark side, an incredible vision for his own version of New Gods. And maybe they didn't think that Ava DuVernay could come up with something as spectacular, which I don't know if it's the case, but you know, honestly, I didn't like Wrinkle in Time either. Now that doesn't mean they're not going to try it again. Maybe in a few years or however they may take, depending if the same regime is still going to be there, that they will try to attempt to do a new gods. There cannot not be a dark side in the DCEU. He's just as big and as important as like say Thanos, which I don't think would have been the case if Warner Brothers actually stuck to the multiverse idea. Either way, either if it's Zack Snyder's Justice League or somebody else, there needs to be a new gods. It is an epic story that they cannot pass up.